welcome back to jumpstart for jesus god is good all the time i believe you are all blessed strong and safe hallelujah in my last two videos i have been sharing on the lord's supper the breaking of bread how god the father instructed the breaking of bread in the old testament through the passover and then we saw how jesus instituted the lord's supper while he was on this earth and then we saw how the disciples celebrated the lord's supper after the resurrection of jesus hallelujah praise god today i want to share with you the blessings we have in the lord's supper the blessings we receive as we celebrate the lord's supper hallelujah praise god to be born again is to receive the life of god in you accepting and believing the truth of the gospel and then taking water baptism is a public declaration of your belief of your faith in jesus christ a declaration to the realm of the spirit and the physical realm that you belong to jesus and you have the life of god in you and then to continue to nourish cherish and strengthen the life that we receive when we are born again hallelujah we need to celebrate the breaking of bread hallelujah breaking of bread strengthens us nourishes us to walk in the life of god it strengthens us to grow in the life of god and blesses us with divine favors hallelujah just as a child needs food to nourish cherish and grow in the physical life in the same way a spiritual life also needs spiritual food and as we partake in the breaking of bread as we celebrate the lord's supper we receive that nourishment that strength and that wisdom that we need to overcome the daily problems to overcome the daily needs of the spiritual life and the physical life hallelujah praise god so friend today we will see how we receive the blessings in the lord's supper as we celebrate the lord's supper as we celebrate the breaking of bread hallelujah chapter 6 of the gospel of john is the longest chapter in the new testament and this chapter tells us much about the blessings we have in the lord's supper or the breaking of bread although the full chapter explains so many things about the breaking of bread i would like to take only a few points to to explain how we can receive the goodness the blessing and the life of god in us through the breaking of bread hallelujah although bible tells us in many other scriptures many more blessings we receive in the breaking of bread but let me share with you from the gospel of john chapter 6 a few things that will bless you that will help you to strengthen your spiritual life that will help you to receive through the lord's supper hallelujah jesus said in john chapter 6 verse 53 most assuredly i say to you unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you have no life in you hallelujah so friend if any unbeliever who does not believe in jesus watching this video he will say what is he talking about i don't believe in jesus but still i have life in me but my dear friend if you do not believe in jesus the life that you have is a dead life because the full mankind has been destined to die hallelujah the life without jesus is no life at all and our body is dying aging each day every day 
every moment and apart from that our enemy the devil is always trying to attack the creation of god he is always trying to attack mankind with sickness disease problems depression distress hallelujah so friend to overcome this problems distress difficulties and burdens of this physical life we need to have a supernatural life a life beyond this ordinary life hallelujah and today jesus is not talking about this ordinary life which you are living ordinary life which is affected by the situations around you jesus is not talking about the ordinary life which is affected by sickness disease problems disturbances hallelujah my dear friend jesus is talking about a life beyond physical circumstances a life beyond sickness and disease beyond problems and troubles beyond sadness hallelujah praise god jesus is talking about the life of god jesus is talking about the supernatural life of god the zoe life of god which brings health wealth and wisdom hallelujah jesus is talking about the life that brings prosperity blessings and favor of god upon your life and that life is found in jesus that life is in jesus so friend as you celebrate the lord's supper as you celebrate the breaking of bread each day every day you receive that life from god you receive the zoe life that flows through jesus into your life the life that god had given to adam and eve when they were in the garden of eden hallelujah they sinned and that life was lost jesus came back 2000 years ago into this world to give us that life the life that was in adam and eve before they committed the sin hallelujah and as you partake in the breaking of bread as you partake in the lord's supper you receive that life of god through jesus christ you receive the life that god has planned for you hallelujah the life that god has designed for you the life of happiness the overcoming life the victorious life the life of god hallelujah so friend as you partake in the breaking of bread you have the life of god in you dwelling in you hallelujah praise god and again jesus said in john 6:54 whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and i will raise him up at the last day hallelujah so friend in the first place jesus says as you partake in the breaking of bread you have the life of god dwelling in you now jesus said you have the eternal life in you hallelujah eternal life is not a far away dream which we receive only after death eternal life is a life that we can live right now while on earth eternal life is a life of total well-being complete well-being complete happiness complete hope hallelujah praise god as you continually partake in the breaking of bread as the life of jesus continually flows through you you grow up to a next level of life which is the eternal life hallelujah eternal life is a life of god in you which empowers you which gives you the authority of god 
through Jesus Christ. When you grow and mature into the life of God, you are given the ability to do supernatural things. You are given power and authority to do supernatural things. You can lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You shall command the demons and they will be cast out in the name of Jesus. So friend, one side Jesus says, as you partake in the breaking of bread, you have the life of God in you. And then Jesus says, as you continue to partake in the breaking of bread or the Lord's Supper, you have God dwelling in you. The life of God which empowers you to live a supernatural life. The life of God which empowers you to do supernatural things, to work wonders, miracles and healings in the name of Jesus. The life of God that keeps you supernaturally healthy, supernaturally wealthy and supernaturally prosperous which makes you a channel for God to supply the needs of others to supply the blessings to others hallelujah you become a channel of God for the supplying of the needs of others just as Paul said in Galatians 2:20, I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Hallelujah. This is the true meaning, the real meaning of eternal life, living in us while we are still on earth. Paul could say that it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. It was God living in him, dwelling in him. It was eternal life that was in him, that was empowering him to work wonders and miracles. It was the life of God, the eternal life of God that was working through him to supply the needs of others, to bless others and to save souls for the eternal kingdom hallelujah praise God and again Jesus said in John 6 54 he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him hallelujah praise God the word abide means to remain inside of Jesus the word abide means to remain continually with Jesus the word abide means to be united as one with Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So friend, Jesus tells us that as we continue to partake in the breaking of bread we shall be united with jesus as one body he is the head and we are the parts of the body hallelujah just as the parts of the body are dead without the head so are we dead without jesus the more we are connected to our head lord jesus christ he supplies all our needs and we have the life in us. We have the Zoe life of God in us, the life of abundance. The more we remember Jesus in the breaking of bread, the more we are united with the Father, united with God, united with the Holy Spirit so that they can work through us. Our spirit, soul and body are controlled by the Spirit of God. He makes His home in us. He dwells in us as we continually take part in the breaking of bread. Hallelujah. In John 15 verse 4, Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the wine neither can you unless you abide in me hallelujah jesus is giving another example of what it means to abide in him just as a branch cannot bear fruit unless it abides in the wine unless the branch remains in the wine it is stick to the wine then only it can bear fruit 
so are we as we continually partake in the breaking of bread as we continually partake in the lord's supper we are united as one with god we abide as one with god we remain in jesus as one and through the wine we receive all the nutritions for our daily life for to overcome the daily needs of our life hallelujah as we remain continually connected with jesus the life of jesus flows in us through us strengthening us nourishing us and maturing us to grow in the divine life hallelujah praise god so, so as you partake in the lord's supper day after day you are more and more connected and united to jesus just like a branch is connected to the vine and you receive the divine life that supernatural life that eternal life in you through Jesus Christ it flows through you it changes you transforms you and makes you a channel to be used for the glory of God makes you a channel to be used for the purpose of God hallelujah finally i like to end with another scripture 1 corinthians 11:26 for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death till he comes hallelujah hallelujah praise god paul is telling us two words in this scripture one is as often as you can and second is to proclaim hallelujah what does it mean to celebrate the lord's supper as often as you can it means to celebrate it moment by moment hour by hour day by day hallelujah week by week month by month hallelujah this is the only feast that we have in the new testament that can be celebrated every moment every hour every day 365 days and receive from god that strength that we need for our daily life receive that healing that we need for our body receive that peace that rest and that fulfillment we can receive that grace and favor of god through the breaking of bread as we celebrated often as we can day after day week after week month after month and god had designed the world itself to have this breaking of bread continually 24 hours a day 7 days a week 365 days a year including the 29th february of the leap year hallelujah praise god we see how the sun rises in japan and japan is the first place to celebrate the breaking of bread then the sun moves to new zealand and new zealand is the next to celebrate the breaking of bread then australia celebrates the breaking of bread then china celebrates the breaking of bread then singapore celebrates the breaking of bread until we reach america which celebrates the breaking of bread and that takes 24 hours from japan to reach to the caribbean islands and again the next day morning the sun rises and japan starts celebrating the breaking bre- breaking of bread and this is how the breaking of bread is celebrated 24 hours a day 7 days a week 365 days a year including the 29th february of the leap year hallelujah praise god and this is how god has designed that mankind should receive the blessing of god continually this is how god has designed that those who believe in jesus shall be strengthened continually moment by moment year by year until the very life ends hallelujah praise god the second word that is that paul mentions is proclaim proclaim the lord's death 
until he comes hallelujah praise god the word proclaim means to declare or to shout out loud hallelujah paul is telling us as we celebrate the breaking of bread do not pew like a pigeon but roll like a lion hallelujah praise god paul wants us to shout the greatest hallelujah as we celebrate the lord's supper as we celebrate the breaking of bread paul wants to tell us to shout out loud to give praises out loud to worship god out loud while we celebrate the breaking of bread so that as we roar like a lion the lion of judah shall roar over our life and we shall be healed from every sickness and disease we shall be delivered from every bondage as the lion of judah lord jesus christ rose from the throne of glory every enemy shall be defeated hallelujah you shall live an overcoming life you shall be blessed to live a life of god in you the divine life the eternal life the zoe life of god hallelujah so friend as you partake in the breaking of bread you shall be blessed as often as you break the bread as often as you celebrate the lord's supper you shall be blessed with health and healing you shall be blessed with wealth and prosperity you shall be blessed with wisdom hallelujah you shall be a overcomer you shall enjoy the goodness of life the life of abundance which jesus came to give us so friend make it a point it is a occasion to celebrate it is a occasion to rejoice and it is a occasion to receive from god the favors the fulfillment and the divine life of god jesus came to bless you jesus wants to see you blessed and jesus wants to see you with him together in heaven so friend continue to be blessed as you partake in the lord's supper continue to be blessed as you celebrate the lord's supper praise god let us pray in the name of jesus father god i pray for all those watching this video bless them father god with the understanding of your word bless them father god with your wisdom healing health prosperity in the mighty name of jesus i pray amen hallelujah praise god so friend i believe you are all blessed and i pray that you remain blessed hallelujah do subscribe to my channel click on the bell for notifications and do share the link with your friends and family and they will be blessed hallelujah praise god Everybody jump around.